Okay, today we'll be discussing uh, distributed denial of service attacks. A uh, distributed denial of service attack is when multiple compromised hosts um, ping flood or port scan or cause some sort of high traffic or high volume uh, uh, mass emails, uh, something along those lines to deny service of legitimate users uh, to that particular machine. Uh, in this case, I set up an IRC server. Um, I've loaded now so far I've, there's right around 700 bots uh, I have it set up to load about a thousand but we're not going to get that far tonight because they're still loading and it takes a little while so anyways um, figure about 700 bots so uh, those will simulate 700 compromised machines uh, we're going to go over um, the type of system load uh, that it causes on the server we're going to go over the, co the, the type of system load it causes on all the legitimate users using the IRC server. Um, and we're going to do that um, with monitoring devices uh, here on, on the, uh, both the server and a client. So let's have some fun. Okay, uh, first we'll be looking at the client side. Um, this is uh, a chat room just made up called a Davenport. I have uh, two users in the chat room. One is uh, a client from my server and one is a client from the laptop. The client from the laptop, uh, the nickname is Davenport. And uh, right now we're going to send in right around 700 bots in about know, three seconds. I got 741 bots in there. If you look down here, uh, this blue line represents the uh, processor usage. You see how it spiked like that? It spiked up to 100%. Now you've heard of uh, uh, the storm botnet. You know, you're talking thousands upon thousands upon thousands of, of bots. Jo you know, that can join IRC channels or cause uh, denial of service attacks. This is simply just joining a channel. That really isn't anything it's probably no more than a simple ping is about how much bandwidth it uses uh, so as you can see just that little bit from about 740 machines it spiked up the processor like nothing this is just the client side the server side it really spiked up so anyways um, we're gonna mess with it just a little bit more we're gonna change all the nicknames of all the uh, uh, clones in here real quick and you'll see that that'll also really cause a quite a stir here in the chat room. Okay, here we go. I, this might take a little while too. Everything it'll slow everything to a to a crawl pretty much. Now processor usage on the client side looks like it used up about it's using up about 50% of the processor power down here. You can see it spiking and sputtering over here. It's using a bit of bandwidth. So anybody who might have been in this chat room with just right now it's up to 600 or 760 bots. Anybody who was in this chat room uh, is now now their uh, processor uh, has spiked. It's actually gone up even more now. Now you're at a hundred. Yeah, 75 to 100 percent. Your bandwidth is at about 50 percent. So, um, and this is on the LAN. Now, if I were connecting through any other means, uh, dial up, I'd be gone right now. It would have booted me off the network because my uh, bandwidth capacity would have been saturated. So, at this point in time, I would have been off. So, as you can see, it's really causing quite a bit of quite a bit of a stir. That's my uh, usage right there. Yeah, that's the system load right there. It's going up and up and up. And it looks like it's kind of peeking out, so it might be kind of done. Anyways, that's basically what it does on the client side. Uh, next, we'll take a look and see what it does on the server side.